everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Marvelous has got his eye on the prize. He has complete focus on his ring walk here. The Body Snatchers ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. Come on, side to side. The body snatcher swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. just covering up down low. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Marvelous. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Blocks that belt line well. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. has got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. The body snatchers impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Digging in with a left to the gut. 
the body snatcher's ability to get to his opponent worked out well there. He damaged him in that round. Take it to this guy. You have to go and get this guy. Listen to me. Your best defense is to throw Listen, okay, look. I need you to throw three each combination. Here you go. Look at you, look at you. Here we go. Round two is underway. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough. The body snatchers. Legs look shaky. He was hurt. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instincts. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Snatchers feeling the impact of that. He did not see that right hand at all. Big shot there. A good knife punch. That back power hand just scored the knockdown. Mm. but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. A nice block by Marvelous. <laughs> Halfway through round number two. The body snatchers missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Right hand by Marvel. That is a sharp uppercut by the body snatcher. Double jab by Marvelous. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by the body snatcher. That's okay, let's go. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Marvelous is right hand scores well. Don't let him right get to, to the you. belt line. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the You're question. Complete control of this fight. You're looking good. Keep it. The body snatchers' recuperative powers are proving to be very strong right here. This is the start to the round he wanted to have, coming off a round where he was clearly damaged. <laughs> Scored well up top. Returning 
fire. Well done by the body snatcher. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. And he engages in the clinch. <laughs> Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Goes up top with a right hand. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Get in there, let's go. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Little head hunting with the left. He scores with the jab. Nice jabs there by Marvelous. Nice work. Right to the head with that right. Able to cover up that gut. Targeting a left hand down low. Ten seconds. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expect him to clinch. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. The power, okay? Keep circling away from that power. You got it. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? All right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot going. You don't need that. No. At least. You have to double the jab already. Right. Look, he's timing you. Every time you come in, I want to see. Round number four underway. Marvelous is only won one round, but it was a significant round, Teddy. Yeah, he scored a knockdown. Obviously, he knows that he got that extra point there. And more importantly, he knows for the future he can hurt the guy. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. The body snatcher's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Grabbing on to his opponent. <laughs> Marvelous, his inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, and what's going to be worse. Right now, he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed, as you touched on. But what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Targeting the left hand to the body. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Finish with a hook. 
Marvelous is making me wonder if his legs are really underneath him. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but the nonstop clinching, it's revealing a lot. Yeah, it is revealing a lot. He's not right. He's hurt a little bit, but he can turn it around for an opportunity for himself because he could grab inside and then let go and then all of a sudden sneak, bang, 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 and then grab again. He can find the little opportunity if he can think about that. into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. Wow, no doubt about it, affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Slip his punch and throw a straight right down the middle. Jab. Jab and throw. Throw to the body, then to the head. Then finish. doing what you're doing. Keep the jab bumping, then throw the lead right hand. You're winning this fight. Nice work. Nice work. You're doing well. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? The Body Snatchers corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. Comes with the right. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. And now he scores well with a straight right. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. That's not going to be easy to survive. Big, big shot he just scored with. What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. the fight the body snatchers night has ended early here unable to go the distance he couldn't rise up and beat the count Marvelous is power that we saw throughout the night, building a lead on your scorecard, now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockouts bring money. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.